Let's talk tech. This is year one, week 16. Let's just start with the basics, the camera that I'm using. And I'm using the GoPro Hero 7 Black. Why did I pick GoPro? Well, the main reason is because I had a GoPro Hero 3 and I really, really enjoyed it because we did most of our sailing trips and so the underwater shots and everything. So that's why I picked uh, the GoPro Hero 7 for no other reasons. Didn't do any research or anything like that. I just decided to go with the brand that I knew and I bought the latest version, the GoPro Hero 7 black with the touch screen and all this i really really enjoy the camera it has some of faults um i bought it first thing when it was cold out here in south carolina and so it, it had some issues with actually freezing up uh in the cold weather so that was pretty interesting and there was a os update version update that supposedly fixed that or at least helped with that cold wa uh, cold weather uh, issue that it had. And I mean, it's, I've had some other issues. It screen has frozen up on me several times and uh, it's, it's sometimes just a little fickle, but uh, I really like it. So I like the versatility, uh, obviously the size and everything else. So then what I have is I then have this, uh, I think it's pronounced Paloos. I have this Paloos, it might be Paloos. I don't know, Paloos. I like Paloos better. Uh, but I have this Paloos uh, aluminum cage that I bought for it. And, and I didn't buy this to protect it. I, I bought this because it has all these holes over here that allows me to then attach other things to it. So uh, let's go ahead and put the camera in the cage here. So it has this nice removable back to it. And then you just take the camera and you just drop the camera right in there like that and then this cage old old 48 year old hey first thing to go is the motor skill so it's in there and it, it rattles around a little bit but then it has this uh little set screw that you can screw into the back and just give it just a little bit of pressure and there's a little pad in there so it's not like metal right up against your GoPro, right up against your camera. I give that just a little bit of a of a tighten. So now it now it doesn't it doesn't move around at all uh, inside the cage. So um, and then supposedly I don't know, but supposedly the Hero Seven's got some improved audio and improved microphone. I don't really know. I'm not that good. That's the whole point of. This weekly vlog, or one of the points, is uh, to learn about uh, uh, videography and film and photo and editing and all of that. So, but supposedly it's got uh, updated microphone. And early on in my first weeks, you could hear the difference when I was out in wind and all that kind of stuff. So then, what I did is I went out and I bought this uh, Ceramonic. SRXM1, I think is the brand, and I'll talk more about that here in just a moment. But but to put an external microphone on the GoPro Hero 7, you also need a adapter because they have, I think, probably their own, you know, whatever you want to call it, their own um, proprietary connection. So uh, to put this into this, um, even though on the side here of the cage, you can get with the door to get access to the charger and everything like that. Uh, but I went ahead and just removed the door, which is just a lift up and pull it out. It just has like a little claw clip. So I removed the door there. Uh, and so then I just put some Velcro. And so now what I can do is I can just put this right up underneath with the Velcro. And it's pretty good Velcro. Um, I, it's actually not called Velcro, but it really snaps in place and it really is firm. So that way, and then I can actually plug this right in because the door is gone so that I can just plug that in. So there's the start of 
my connection. And as you as you can see on the, the bottom of the cage, then I, it has the GoPro adapter and I've got the adapter already mounted here, which will then screw in my tripod, which I will talk about here in a minute. So there's that. And then we can now take our Ceramonic SRXM1 external microphone, which uh, it's pretty nice. It, it's, it has this pivot so I can pivot it back toward me. So if I want to then talk or I can then pivot it forward. And so I use then basically what I've got here is then I can use that set screw that holds the camera in the cage from rattling. And I put some Velcro on that. And so I can actually now just mount my microphone on there. And I just have some a basic little plastic clamp that I bought. So it's pretty simple setup here. Kind of uh, South Carolina hillbilly, if you want to say, setup. But uh, and then I can plug the microphone right in. So I've I've started to now really get my GoPro where it's kind of weird looking, but I've now got the dead cat on the microphone. Uh, I can position the microphone, so it's all looking pretty good. Oh, by the way, this is a 52 millimeter lens here and so you can change it out i do have a polarized this is just the uv filter but i do have a polarized filter that i can put on there if i want to shoot into water and stuff like that i played around with that a little bit but i am extreme novice right now when it comes to all of the stuff whether it becomes taking footage editing or whatever but i sure am enjoying uh learning and everything else so there's the setup getting pretty close to this and then the next thing you need because if you want to do some like external shots and all that kind of stuff then you take your little tripod and I just went out and bought a gorilla pod 500 which is the 0.5 kilogram so a little little over one pound weight capacity and so then with the adapter I can just screw that right in like so and now I've got a not only do I have a tripod but I can also now Right, film myself with that, all that kind of stuff. And, and again, it's a tripod, so I can move the legs out. And this is a grill pod, so I can turn those and I can really wrap it around a pole or something like that if I really want. So, uh, the, yeah, that's that right there is my basic setup for my vlogging that I've done from week one. So, um, but I did add the microphone later and so on. But yeah, that's my basic GoPro Hero 7 setup. Now, I do have something else because with this cage, you do have all of these holes. So you can add some other things. And I think some people use some some better, maybe, I don't know, uh, microphones and this little ceramonic that I've got. But I, I, I like it so far. So one of the things I do have is I have this right here. And I can actually mount this on top. And I can use then my iPhone to be my viewfinder. So when it's mounted up here, I could actually now see because there is a GoPro app for uh, the iPhone. And I'm pretty sure it's for any mobile device, but for the iPhone. And that can actually be then my viewfinder. So I can actually see myself because the GoPro's, all of its viewfinder and everything is on the back. But be honest with you I don't like using this I've tried it a couple times and the reason why I don't like it is one is it just adds putting it adds a lot of bulkiness to the whole setup I think this is pretty streamlined it adds a lot of bulkiness to it and a lot of weight once you mount your phone here and so what happens then is that uh, well it's just for the mount here the, the tripod everything it's just it's just too much weight and cumbersome uh, so that's one of the reasons I, I don't use my iPhone. The other reason I don't use my iPhone that I've learned in the few times that I've done it is I like looking at the camera. I like looking at the camera, at you, rather than uh, how I see some people with their vlogs, right, when they're looking at the camera. Well, they're not looking at the camera. They're over here looking at their flipped out viewfinder and screen that they've got, or it's over here, or it's up here. And for me personally, when I watch videos like that, it, 
Which is kind of weird, because I would much rather it seem like they're talking to me rather than out here, right? So that's just my take. And, and the other reason that I don't use the viewfinder or the, my camera as a viewfinder with, with this adapter that I have is I kind of like the randomness. So when I'm vlogging and I'm looking, I don't know if I've got the camera right on me or if um, you got half my face or something like that. And I kind of like that variance and that and that randomness to that. So that's my GoPro Hero 7 vlogging setup that I have. I really like it. It's very streamlined. Uh, it's very small. So when uh, you see me on airplanes and stuff, it's not real obtrusive and it's not like this big camera and I can hold it close to me. And so it fits in my backpack that I have for uh, for my camera stuff. So I really, really like it. And then the other thing that I do have is I've got the official GoPro case here. Uh, it's a hardbound case. So uh, all the stuff actually does fit in that case. So it's a very nice streamlined travel case. Now, what do I use for video editing? What is that tech that I use? Well, I use Filmora. I've got two versions of it. I started with Filmora 8. Really, really enjoyed Filmora 8. It's the user interface, the UI is amazing. It's simple. It is fairly intuitive, as they say in a lot of their ads. And then they came out with Filmora 9, and I thought that was going to be an update, but it wasn't an update at all. Filmora 9 was a completely version, completely new version with new user interface that I have to say I don't like as much as Filmora 8. Love Filmora. Really do not like Filmora 9 over Filmora 8. So I use mostly Filmora 8. So uh, for all of this information that, that I've been talking about, I'll have links down in the description, probably mostly to Amazon, but I'll have links um, to all of the stuff that I use here for my setup. And then also, in case you're interested, I use just a stock Stuart Packard, so just a uh, HP ZBook 17. It is kind of tricked out a little bit. Uh, it's got the upgraded, the high-end graphics card, but it is completely stock right off the shelf. So I use an HP ZBook 17 for all of my editing. I'm using a Logitech C920 to film this. And then off camera here, but I can swing it in a little bit, I've got the Blue Yeti microphone. Uh, that I'm using for this. So that's my setup from either taking footage to editing footage or the hardware uh, to do so. So I will see you in week 17.